One of the most common complaints I hear about using a shotgun for home defense is the recoil. I think it's also the reason a lot of people don't practice with shotguns as often as they should. The recoil of a 12 gauge shotgun can be pretty severe, maybe even painful. And even if it's not uncomfortable, the recoil could be causing you to have slower follow-up shots or the muzzle rise could obscure your view of the target. Whatever issues you might be having due to recoil, there's a lot of things we can do to get it under control and make the 12 gauge a lot more manageable to use as a home defense tool. Most of the time when people want to mitigate the recoil of a shotgun, they start looking for a hardware-based solution. So things like recoil pads or low recoil ammo. And that stuff can help, but personally, I've had a lot more success by just changing my shooting technique. So that's what I wanna focus on today. I'm gonna to show you three things you can do when you're firing the shotgun. And if you put all three together, you should see a big decrease in the effects of recoil. We can't stop recoil from happening, but we can reduce the negative effect that it has on our shooting. We can get rid of a lot of that pain and discomfort. We can prevent the recoil from knocking us off balance and we can reduce the amount of muzzle rise. The first thing I wanna look at is the stance. And most people will naturally shoot a shotgun something like this with the body sort of bladed toward the target and with the strong side shoulder way back here. That might be fine for shooting up at the air at clays or birds or something, but it's really not ideal for a fighting stance. So instead, if my target's over here, I wanna square my shoulders toward the target and then I wanna take my upper body and lean forward. I wanna lean into the shotgun. So now, instead of just a shoulder behind the shotgun, I've got all of the weight of my upper body to counteract that recoil. That's gonna prevent the gun from knocking me around and pushing me off balance. Next, I wanna look at the placement of the stock. Instead of it being on my shoulder, I wanna bring it in toward the center line of my body. So I wanna get it off the shoulder and onto the outside of my pectoral muscle here, but underneath my collarbone. So now I've got the whole surface area of this recoil pad in contact with my body, and I've got it pushing against muscle instead of bone. And that's gonna go a long way toward avoiding a lot of that pain and bruising that you sometimes get with shooting a shotgun. The last thing I'm gonna do is called the push-pull technique. So with my strong hand, I'm gonna pull the stock into my body, and with my support hand, I'm gonna push the forend out. It should feel like you're trying to pull the gun into two pieces. And if you do this just before you break the shot, you don't have to hold it like that all the time because it does get tiring. But just before you press the trigger, if you go into a real strong push-pull, it'll help control that recoil. For me, this doesn't do a whole lot to help with felt recoil, but it does significantly decrease muzzle rise, and I can stay on target better and get that follow-up shot a lot more quickly. One quick note about hardware. It's gonna be impossible to really get behind the gun like this and still control it well if the stock is too long. And if you're using the stock that came with the shotgun, there's like a 99% chance it's gonna be too long for you. This is an issue I've talked about in previous videos, but I think it bears repeating. The vast majority of shotgun stocks are too long for using the shotgun for self-defense. The length of pull, the distance between the rear of the stock and the trigger, is typically around 14 to 15 inches. The ideal length of pull is gonna vary depending on the size of the person, but for most people it seems to be around 12 or 13 inches if you're using an aggressive fighting stance. So get a short stock on your shotgun and try a few of those techniques I talked about. I think it'll go a long way in helping you drive that shotgun and not let it push you around. If you're looking for some more information about hardware-based solutions for managing shotgun recoil, I've got a post about that on our blog. The link is in the video description.